Hey. Hi, we're with Vandy Mosaic. Are you ready to be interviewed? Yeah, absolutely. Come on in. Cool. So, who are you? My name is Bailey Vi. I use she or they pronouns, and I'm a program coordinator here at the Women's Center. Um, and then, can you give us a quick description of your center? Absolutely. So we're a center who, our tagline is celebrating women empowering all. So what we want to do is we want to work um, with all members of the Vanderbilt community to resist sexism and all forms of oppression through educational programming and resources here on campus. And if you had to use three words to describe your center, what would they be? I would probably say community-based. We're all about building community here, so we want to make sure our community um, is you know open and affirming those are actually the, the two other words I was going to use so community building is super important open and affirming space is super important to create that dialogue for students staff and faculty to interact with each other and the other word I would use for us is celebratory we really love to celebrate here it's Women's History Month we're getting really into it with a lot of different programs so we always want to celebrate um, progress towards gender equity so it looks beautiful in here do you want to maybe show us around and tell us a little bit about your interior design inspiration Awesome, absolutely. I'll take you right into the living room. So right this way. So this is pretty much our biggest design inspiration is our main piece of art right here in this living room. It's done by an artist local to Atlanta named Tamara Madden. She gave this to us a, a few years ago. She's got another piece of art in the center as well. Um, and we kind of use that quilted design to get this quilt as well um, and incorporate different colors and styles into the living room. And what type of services and resources does your center provide? So we do a variety of things. We do things that serve staff, faculty, and students here on campus. Students were inclusive of professional students, graduate students, and undergraduate students, and postdocs as well. We love them too. So a couple programs that we offer. One, we run a couple different internships. Vandy Sex Ed, that's our peer-to-peer -peer sex education internship. We have the Body Project, which is a body, or excuse me, a internship based on body positivity, body acceptance, those types of things. We also have a Women's Center Ambassadors Internship Program, which focuses on gender equity and feminism um, and different you know, current issues around those, those topics. The other things that we offer are Women in the Academy. That's our um, monthly program for faculty here on campus and postdocs and graduate students. And then we also offer work-life workshops, which are aimed towards staff. Those happen once a month as well. We also have other kind of freestanding programs that we do throughout the year. And then as far as resources go, we have a lot of sex sexual health resources here on campus, and we offer free pregnancy tests, free condoms, free menstrual products, all those kinds of things. So Bailey, how did you get involved with the center? So I was um, actually an undergraduate student here at Vanderbilt, and Rory, who's our director, Rory Dicker, was one of my professors when I was a junior and a senior here at Vanderbilt. And so she kind of told me more and more about the center, and I decided to go into a graduate program at Peabody right after undergrad, and she actually offered me a position to be a graduate assistant here at the Women's Center. So I did that for two years, about a year and a half actually. I wrapped up a little bit early. Then I actually left the center, went to work at a nonprofit here in Nashville, and then about a little over a year ago was offered a position back at the center. So I'm really happy to be back, even though we're not really back on campus like that. I'm really happy to be back here in the space and working with these folks. Um, and so, what's a fun fact about the center that uh, most people wouldn't know? A fun fact is that this was one of the original residence halls here on campus. So this house and all the other West Side Row houses were some of the original residences at Vanderbilt, which is kind of fun. So what's something that you wish more people knew about the center? I wish more people knew about and took advantage of the free resources that we offer here on campus. So the sexual health products that I mentioned earlier, um, safer sex supplies, as well as menstrual products and free pregnancy tests. I wish more folks knew about that just so that they could utilize those resources, especially because they can be expensive elsewhere. And then what's some advice that um, you would give to some prospective students? I would say to prospective Vanderbilt students, just keep an open mind and do whatever you're passionate about. If you come into college thinking that you have to do this one thing or you're expected to do this one thing, just know that that can totally change and follow whatever it is that you're passionate about, even if it's different than what you came in thinking that you might do. So Bailey, where are we right now? We're in the conference room. So we passed through um, our kitchen area. You're always welcome to come in, grab a snack, warm something up, especially during non-COVID time. So hopefully back in the, excuse me, when we get back in the fall, we'll be able to utilize that space more. But right now we're in the conference room. This is where, right now we're kind of loading up some stuff for Women's History Month programming. But typically students can come in here and study, run different study groups, we'll have meetings in here and stuff like that. So yeah. Cool, so can you tell us some different ways that students are involved in the center? Absolutely. So we run, like I said earlier, our internship programs, and those are actually all aimed at undergraduate students. So we hire 
about 30 interns a year. So it's an awesome opportunity for students to get involved in our center. And I can tell you more, but I would love for you to hear it from an actual student. So we have Claire here, who's a Vandy Sex Ed intern. She's going to tell you more. Hi, Claire. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh yeah, um, my name is Claire. I'm a junior major in neuroscience, minor in piano performance, and I'm involved here as a sex educator. And tell us about other things that you're involved with here at Vanderbilt. Um, so I am the vice president of the Neuro Majors Club, so that's everyone who's majoring in neuroscience. I am also involved in MedLife as a community outreach co-chair. Um, and yeah. <laughs> what has your experience with the center been like? The center, honestly, I feel like has really enhanced my Vanderbilt life because I've met so many like-minded people who are really passionate about, about sex education and everyone's just so fun and bubbly during our meetings, so it really, you know, brightens my day. <laughs> How did you learn about the Women's Center? So one of my friends was actually involved here. He's currently in Austria, so he's not on campus right now, but he told me about this because I like talk to him about my aspirations to become an OBGYN and I was like, oh hey, like here's the thing you might be interested in. So I was like, okay, I'll apply. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your favorite part about this center? Favorite part? Um, I really love how we like aim to help every woman and every student honestly on campus, try to spread good information, try to give them free resources. I think that's really great. That's awesome. And what has been your most memorable experience at the center? Most memorable? We actually did a sex um, healthy relationships week for Valentine's Day and that was really fun because we got to contact a lot of like black owned lingerie shops and try to you know spread the word about little businesses here and there and provide free resources once again. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that this center is an integral part of the Vanderbilt experience? I think it's integral because not everyone talks about it openly, but I feel like we're kind of like the underground dogs providing the infrastructure for everyone to lead a healthy lifestyle and provide help when they need it. Um, and how has this center shaped your Vanderbilt experience? Again, I feel like this really helped me confirm my dreams to become a doctor in the first place and also to help women be an advocate for them by becoming an OBGYN. And again, the people are great. So. <laughs> um, what advice, lessons, or resources have you gained from the center that you'll carry with you even after you graduate? Uh, lessons. Be educated, be open-minded, mm -hmm. and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Very solid. What advice would you give to a prospective Vanderbilt student? Um, I would say, again, be open-minded. You never know what you're going to come across in terms of like your involvement on campus, like the people and whatnot. Um, don't fret. Don't be so stressed. That's what I tell everyone. And have fun. That will make your day. And the last and most important question, anchor down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.